This is Anna Monthly, spotlighting amazing animation on the internet. All links can be found below. Scarlet Deer Inn is an upcoming adventure platformer inspired by Slavic folklore. But the most interesting part of this game is the animation, which is all done on a sewing machine. Every sprite is embroidered. This gives the game a unique storybook feel. While some might have opted for a digital approach to this art direction, they took on the painstaking task of doing this all by hand, which certainly made it stand out with the trailer amassing 5.7 million views on Twitter. Hidari is a stop-motion animated pilot about a samurai seeking revenge. All the puppets are carved from wood, which goes very well with the animation style. It's very action-packed, and I recommend checking it out. Legendary animator James Baxter has recently been sharing some of his never-before-seen animation on his YouTube channel. God damn, Jimmy! This is some serious gourmet sh One in particular was this test for a now-canceled film called Medusa. The animation is so full of character, and you can see why he's one of the greats. Playground is an upcoming animated project that recently shared their surreal trailer. This horror miniseries got a lot of attention already, with over 2 million views on YouTube. Toby Fox of Undertale fame shared his animated music video called The Greatest Living Show, which was a musical collaboration with Atoki Hana and animation by Bonnie Chan. It's a beautiful piece of work that you shouldn't miss. Another music video to check out is Jonathan Young's collaboration with Vault Animation, Starship Velociraptor. It's four minutes of flashy eye candy and catchy music. Aaron Long just released an episode of his animated series, Sublo and Taggy Mustard. This episode is called Nightclub, where they go to, you guessed it, a nightclub. I'll put a link to the entire series playlist below if you want to check out previous episodes as well. Denver Jackson has been working on his own animated feature film called The World's Divide. After a successful run on Kickstarter, they are now in post-production. What has been shown so far looks very promising, so keep an eye out for it. Balak is an animator who I've been following for many years now. He just shared an animatic pilot for one of his show ideas that never fully got off the ground, Princess Apocalypse. It's really impressive even just as an animatic. Hypervoltaic Chronicles is a action-packed short with a lineless art style. While further episodes have been shelved for now, it's a really cool look at what they wanted to do with this project. The Lovers is a adult animation about a mermaid and a seafood chef that is based in the Philippines. They released a trailer and announced their Kickstarter will begin on May 9th. Moika has been producing animated music videos of their OC on YouTube for a while now, and I recommend checking them out. A lot of their loops they've been posting on Twitter are also really impressive. He-Man is a short by Boy Porcelain about a superhero who has the power to open any door. A Fox in Space released their 40 minute long second episode of their Star Fox fan series. And Mrs. Blue is a feature film length fan animation based in the Team Fortress 2 universe. If you grew up playing TF2 like me, it's for sure worth a watch. Zarel released his second episode of his animated series Monkey Wrench. It's the story of two mercs for hire in space trying to make it by. It feels like Cowboy Bebop meets Western animation. If you haven't checked the series out yet, you should. Alien Stage released their latest episode. This is an ongoing animated series about aliens running a K-pop battle royale tournament. Think Squid Game, but everything is live performances. If you've done or seen anything cool that you think I should cover in a future video, tweet it at me. Have a good one.